Hey, how's it going everyone? It's the Electric Hornet. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to be unboxing and reviewing the highly anticipated Mandalorian playing cards from Theory 11. Let's go. If you haven't already, make sure to follow me on Instagram at Electric Hornet Official for more exciting content. Well, Theory 11 finally shipped me out these Mandalorian playing cards. Been looking forward to these for a while now. So with that, let's get right into these guys. This is a poor excuse for an orchestra. Welcome. In today's video, we will be unboxing and reviewing The Mandalorian Playing Cards by Theory 11. Let's begin by taking the cards out of the packaging. On the front of the deck, we have This Is The Way, The Mandalorian Playing Cards by Theory 11. On one side, we have The Mandalorian and Quill. On the other side, we have The Child and IG-11. On the back, we have a very detailed design with the Mandalorian helmet. Let's continue by opening the seal. Word to the wise, please remove the seal with your hands. On the top of the deck, we see the question, do you gamble, Mando? The answer is, do you? On the bottom, we have the Disney and Theory 11 logos. Let's now open the box. We have the Razor Crest on the inside of the flap. The back design of the Mandalorian playing cards is just as intricate as their tuck case. If you look closely, the inside of the tuck case has a desert design. For starters, we have a Joker, a Jawa, who will do anything for a Mudhorn egg. Next, we have the Sand People, who are dangerous, but can be reasoned with if you try. Next, we have Grogu, the child. We have elegantly designed number cards. For the Jack of Spades, we have the Dark Trooper, one of the most dangerous weapons of the Fading Empire. On the Queen of Spades, we have the Incinerator Trooper, pyromaniacs with flamethrowers. On the King of Spades, we have Moff Gideon. Don't trust him. On the Ace of Diamonds, we have Mithral. He's been escaping Bale for far too long. Once again, Elegantly designed number cards. On the Jack of Diamonds, we have Mayfeld, a treacherous and unstable bounty hunter. But in a pinch, he's worth his salt. On the Queen of Diamonds, we have Fennec Shand, one of the most dangerous snipers in the galaxy. On the King of Diamonds, we have IG-11, assassin droid. I don't trust assassin droids. They're designed to kill. For the King of Clubs, we have Paz Vizsla, a top-of-the-line Mandalorian, and deadly with a rifle. For the Queen of Clubs, we have the Armorer. Anything you want made out of Beskar, she's the one to go to. On the Jack of Clubs, we have infamous bounty hunter, 
Boba Fett, the absolute legend of Mandalorians. Once again, very elegantly designed number cards. On the Ace of Clubs, we have the Scout Trooper, a formidable servant of the Empire. On the King of Hearts, we have myself, Dindarin, the Mandalorian. For the Queen of Hearts, we have Cara Dune, former shock trooper and skilled in the arts of combat. On the Jack of Hearts, we have Grief Karga. If you're looking for a bounty, he's your man. Once again, very elegantly designed number cards. And finally, on the Ace of Hearts, we have Quill. A skilled Ugnaught, and a wise mentor. Last but not least, in every Mandalorian deck of playing cards by Theory 11, you receive two bonus cards. Elegant design. Quality cellulose. The Mandalorian playing cards by Theory 11. This is the way. Just a little friendly advice, don't mess with Mandalorians, because they'll take your stuff. They'll take your playing cards, they'll take your phone, they'll take your snowblower. Somebody get me out of this! 